Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create a button that actually works. We are going to use Event Handler from JavaFX so we can make this possible. So far, we have a blank window that uses the stack pane layout. And this layout has been applied to the scene of this window. Now, we want to make a button and add it onto the window. To do this, we need to make an object which is button variable equals new button. If you want to add text onto this button, you can do this by typing in a string inside of this parentheses. I'll call mine click me. This object requires a library from JavaFX. Be sure that you import this guy. After that, we need to add the button onto the stack pane layout. This can be done by typing this root get children dot add and button. And this button came from this variable right here. Since I've already applied the layout to the scene, we should be able to see the button on the window. So let's see. As you can see, there's a button on the window. But the thing is, this button doesn't do anything. To fix that, we can use the event handler. Whenever I press this button, I want it to print out hello world in the console. There are three ways of implementing event handler for this button. The first way is look for your name of the class, which is main. After this application, you implement an interface, which is event handler. And the left arrow and the right arrow and inside of these symbols, you type in action event. We need to add two more libraries, one for event handler and one for action event. So for event handler, you import this guy. For action event, you import this guy. After that, we need to make another method for the event handler. And the method is public void handle. And the curly braces. Since this method has been declared on a different file already, we need to let the computer know that we're modifying this method in this class. So type in override. Inside of this parentheses, type in action event and a variable. Whenever a user click on this button or messes with any interface on the window, then it'll look for this method. We want the computer to listen for any clicks from the button. To make that possible, we can type this in, which is button dot set on action. Inside of this parentheses, we simply type this. This syntax means that whenever a user press the button, it will automatically look for this method inside of this class. And remember that I said that I want this computer to actually print hello world in the console whenever I press the button. In order to do that, just type in system thought out print line. And write hello world. So when I run it now, we should 
be able to click this button and hello world should print out in the console. So let me drag this window closer down here and let's press this button. We can see hello world. Now let's delete all this. Let's delete this and this. Oops. The second way of doing this is by keeping this line of syntax. We also need to type in the following code inside of this parentheses. We type in new event handler, the left arrow and the right arrow. And in between those symbols, we type in action event. After that, we need to type in open close parentheses. Now we need to type in open and close curly braces. This right here is called anonymous class. This is like a class within the class. Now we need to type in at override and the same method that we made earlier, public void handle. Inside of this parentheses, we type in action event and variable. All right, so we're, we're done setting this up. And remember that I said whenever I press this button, I want it to, to print out hello world in the console. So let's do the same way we did before, system.outprintline. Now let's see this in action. All right, so we have this window and we have this console right here. Let's click on this button and it works. The third way of doing this is by typing in this variable, this hyphen and this right arrow. Then we type in open close curly braces. And we can type in system dot out the print line hello world. If we want to if we want the button to do the same thing like the previous two methods. Alright, so let's run to see what happens. Still works. When I click this button, hello world. All right, so this is called the Lambda expression. This is the shorthand notation for, for the second notation. I will be using this method a lot more because it saves a lot of time, saves code, and we can be really specific on what we want this computer to listen for when it comes to user activities. So this concludes my tutorial on event handler for, for this button.